Hey what's going guys, welcome back to another monster video. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the monster Fiddle Herald at rank 4, level 144. So this monster is close to being maxed out and I wanted to do a review on it because it's a new monster in a new era. So today you'll see this monster in action, you'll see if it's good or not. So I hope you guys already said if you are, you should drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go and get started. Alright guys, so here we have Fatal Herald at rank 4, level 144. Let's take a look at the stats first. Stats are very important. 34,501 strength, 154,791 life, and 19,218 speed. Not bad for level 144. Later on when it's maxed out, obviously, this will all increase uh, a lot more. Now, here's the thing. This monster actually gets really good at rank 5. If you could actually get your hands on this monster at rank 5, it'd be nice because you'll get that anticipation. You also have that area random debuff, which is also really nice. Uh, so rank 3 and and rank 5 traits are probably his best ones besides the immune to control so yeah he's got some really good traits now what's also important is the skills so let's take a look at the skills all right so we have uh a vanished in the snow okay so vanished in the snow it deals low nature damage to all enemies removes torture immunity from all enemies applies a random negative status effect and frost at all enemies as well so frosted it deals five percent water damage each turn this effect can be stacked oh okay you know when i first heard of the effect frosted i thought it would be like it'll deal some damage and then it'll also freeze the enemy because that's kind of what it sounds like to me i don't know until now obviously anyways curse look deals low earth damage to all enemies applies negative status effect protection to all enemies then applies a random torture status effect to all enemies so what's nice about this monster is that he has access to the torture immunity uh remove the torture immunity from everybody and then on top of that you also have the fact that you can actually apply tortures and also negative of their protection which is also quite nice uh now you also have mask of banishment which is a heavy earth damage to one enemy ruins positive status effect for one enemy applies a random negative status effect to one enemy and then one torture to all enemies that's nice isn't it <laughs> intubation to itself evasion and life regen so let's say you have this monster to level 100 level uh or i don't think that this monster has like unlockable skills let's say if he doesn't then at level 100 you can't technically get intubation with this skill now there's also mask of calamities which is a moderate or damage to one enemy applies negative effect protection and random with status effects to one enemy so you can run that if you want or again you can just run this now another thing is you have this frosted skill if you want to go ahead and stack this up with this you can but i think I'm gonna run this just in case if I need it. It's nice to have the self support skill from time to time, you know what I mean? Now, it is a nature monster and a fire meta, so that's kind of, that kind of sucks, but skill wise, it's not bad. Um, take a look at the relics for relics, you've got a staff and also a mask. For mask, there are actually many options, you can't go wrong with mask. You could do body robot mask, a human's mask, or sword box mask, or staff. For staff, I feel like what would go well would be Merc staff. I mean, Merc staff almost it goes well with almost any monster really. And then you can pair it up with Torvox mask, so you apply curse and also uh water or nightmare sorry and deal water damage so if you would use let's say this one or this one um or this one too but these two probably uh would be nice so anyways pretty good monster i would say i do want to give a huge shout out to one of my teammates bunky for letting me borrow account to make this video possible for you guys so we'll do now here's the thing um i think what i'll do is actually pair it up this way we've got fatal fatal right this monster can technically open up the path because it does have a per skill so although he doesn't have trade table i will still make it work because we have a pierce monster on our side i think we'll be fine i'll do a shrimp sword all right so this should be fine let's take a look at now strength no okay so we didn't actually take a look at the runes right we didn't go over the runes you can run this monster as an attacker if you want to but his his role is like a cursor um so what i would suggest would be purple speed or two speed one team speed but if you want to run like a strength rune here and there you can um mix with the speed and team speed like how it is set up right now but i think what i'll do is go with the other route where we make it slightly faster and our attacker open up the path you know what i mean so we'll just use them normally like this basically so what's the speed here real quick let's check 34k you have 20k oh then in that case we could do a team speed or we could do a strength i mean i don't have a team speed i could look for one though i wonder if anybody here has a team speed oh, there's a team life if you want to run <laughs> around a team life here we go all right this should work there you go take this now we've got the uh, one speed and two speed. that's crazy with one speed and two team speed you still have 30k speed which is insane like that is crazy i kind of want to run a string turn here to be honest just for fun because this monster is just insanely fast now obviously ignore the strength turn you can run like a speed run or something or uh team life or team speed again but yeah you know what we're gonna keep it the way it is here Alright, oh, Grifani's still taking the first turn. Wait, what? 34k, 30k. Oh, because of the team speeds. That makes sense. Okay, now we can one-tap you, shall we? Do you have... Okay, you have Tyrant's idea, so we can one-tap you here. 
I'll go ahead and do that. I thought you'd have um, the revival talent, uh, the Black Moon. So we finally get a turn in here. Now again, frosted, right? So remove sources from all enemies, right? Now that's torture immunity. It doesn't remove actual torture. So if they had like torture immunity. It would be nice against Nerida, for example, or Talika, or any of the other like Ovira, for example. We remove other side effects, applies a random side effect and a random torture. So we'll do this to you since you have evasion. So we slowed the monster down and applied sunburn. Well, that's nice. We can probably freeze somebody too. Oh, we can't freeze you. You have. We'll do this then. Let's freeze you. And so you're taking in the first, the next turn. Oh, my monster's gonna die. Oh, well, before you die, can you attack? Like eliminate one or two? You can actually eliminate one. All right, it's okay. You're gonna die. You're gonna come back. We'll be fine. Four million damage. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so here. We can give ourselves an anticipation, life regen, and evasion if we want to. Or we could do this. So it applies random negative status effect to all enemies, applies a random torture status effect to all enemies as well. So, we might as well go ahead and do it. There goes the negative effect protection. We applied nightmares and repetitions. Nice. And thanks to that staff that I told you guys about earlier, we we're able to just finish them all off. We can assessor. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Now we got the turn. We can finish it off with this. We might as well do it. Intruder elimination. Nice. Finish them off. Cool. So yeah, again, if you want to do attacker, herald, you can. Or you could just run it the normal way, you know what I mean? Which is like one speed, two team speed, or you, you can mess around with the with the runes basically. Um now I might actually do a speed rune here because just because this monster actually took in the first turn and I didn't like that. Um I'm gonna do two speed actually in that case. So we have 34.9. This is probably gonna be 34 point something, something. We'll be fast. Um it'll actually be below 34k since we removed the team speed. Oh, it's actually 42k and 31k. Alright, so we've taken the first turn here. Now, see this is what I meant. Now, I could rule Pazzer Static right now, and then we can attack whoever we want. But the thing is, I want to eliminate this monster with Irfania. So, I think what I'll do is maybe give Anticipation Evasion, maybe? We can do that. Um, you know what? Let's do that. Let's mess around with this. So, it's just a self-support skill. Can we actually one-tap you? Oh, we can. Let me see. Maybe this AoE skill will be enough. Maybe? I don't think so. Probably gonna survive with like 100k HP. Oh, never mind. Dang, okay. Yeah, get out of here. Too easy. <laughs> okay, we gotta eliminate the middle monster next because he is gonna be a pain. Alright, well, that's fine. We'll, we'll get rid of him. So we got the turn in with Harold. The only thing is, I wish this monster had a, an ER skill for the allies. That would have been quite nice, but unfortunately he's lacking that. So root spots of test applies a random set effects and a random torture. You have character's horn, so it doesn't matter if we do that. Like it's just it's not gonna be helpful as much. Um we can do this. You know what I mean? Just to frost it, but again, he's gonna get rid of it. Let's just do something like this. Can we one tap one of these guys? Yes we can. Get out of here. Alright, so we got rid of the metal monster. He's gonna come back obviously for the second time, but next time we eliminate him, he's done for sure. Um What are you gonna do? Undead mojo. Okay. That's fine. Okay, Harold gets a turn in. Harold, we can do the AoE frost or we could do this. This room's father's house, obviously. So you know how this monster has face time right now? We get rid of that and actually attack it. Um, but if we don't get rid of it, obviously we can't actually deal damage to the monster. But let me just attack this one instead. And we actually gotta get rid of him because, again, this monster has character spawn. Um, well, even though it says zero uses, this monster can still NER. It does have nightmares. Let's charge up. Charge up again. Lamuna gets a turn in. Can you still... Wait, did you NER? I... Oh, you didn't NER. Maybe you didn't have it. Uh, maybe it's on, it was on cooldown. So, again, frosted basically 5% water damage each turn, and then you can stack it up technically. Alright, unfortunately, that missed. That's fine. Oh, I know Garfani is going to die soon, so let's just attack real quick. Ancestors Awakened, you're going to come back. Now, what I'm going to do, let me actually mess around a little bit. Oh no, the monster died. Oh no, he didn't actually. Oh, my monster died. 
Everybody's dying. Okay. I thought those, um, the talent and all the other stuff just kicking it back and forth. That was actually gonna eliminate Lamuna, but she survived with like a thousand HP. But then my uh, Herald Monster died, and even then, I couldn't have really stacked it up. Let me actually do this. We'll swap this out with this skill right here, and we'll go ahead and stack up the Frost Dead, all right? Um, and it's not like it, it, it says like it's gonna deal damage every turn, like more damage every turn. You know, the percentage, how it increases, like with Curse. It doesn't say that. So, don't think it works that way, but. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm actually gonna eliminate you again because I don't want you alive. So just go and charge up. Oh, I got hit with blind. Oof. I wonder if it's gonna land. Okay. All right. Monster still survived. 175k. I see composure. That's gonna be zero. So here we can do frosted real quick. Oh, the monster has torch immunity. We should have actually gotten rid of that. Actually, actually, no. We could have saved it for next turn. Now, I just don't want my monster to die here. Look. Gotten hit with almost everything. Oh, I didn't miss against that. Great. Yeah, torture immunity. Now, it's the torture immunity is only to herself. I'm going to do this shield to everybody. I think that shield is actually going to help out. Wait, the torture immunity is to everybody. Yeah. I thought it was only to one okay so we can pr right now right we could do that or we can keep it with grafania we can actually one tap the monster now i'm actually gonna pr the shield though i don't like that shield and the fire protection so i guess we'll pr anyways it's fine and then here with grafania we get the turn in we can actually pierce through and eliminate whoever we want. Now, let me see. Duke Sword, do we have a use for it? We do have one, 49k. Yeah, that's going to be enough to eliminate that monster. Oh, no, really? Wow. Okay, let's stack up the frosted effect. So we'll do it this turn and then next turn again. If they actually survive. Now that we have um, Grafania's ultimate. Oh, they got hit with CDA. Great perfect look at this that is awesome hats open too <laughs> all right sick we just gotta eliminate that dark monster there so we'll do frosted to you the five percent water damage now i want to see i want to see i doubt it works like curse but we're gonna see right here yeah it says frosted for three more turns and it just says deal five percent of water damage each turn so if we were to attack it right now again that frosted will probably double up so it'd be maybe 10 percent or even more thing um or maybe i think the the turns of it would probably increase like it would last longer basically if that makes sense anyways let's finish it off ggs easy win oh you're funny died <laughs> but anyways I would say this is actually a good monster. The only thing it's lacking is an NER skill, um, or else it would actually be a great monster. Uh, but it's still pretty good. I think that a lot of players are going to be using this monster uh, on Team Wars. I think we're going to be it's going to be more of a Team War monster than PvP. Uh, but yeah, let me know your input in the comments down below. You can go ahead and obtain this monster right now through the Golden Legends Pass. But that's going to be pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.